have a 2015 Mercedes-Benz GLA 250 Formatic AMG Line Premium Plus. Now with this vehicle you do get the 19 inch AMG alloy wheels all in excellent condition as you can see it just there. We've got a cirrus white exterior paintwork which looks fantastic in contrast with the black features around the vehicle. Coming around to this corner you'll see your second 19 inch alloy wheel. You've then got the black wing mirrors, colour coded door handles, black trim around the windows with the privacy glass for the rear passengers. On the top there we've got the black roof rails as well as the sliding glass panoramic sunroof. Coming to the rear you've then got your third 19 inch alloy wheel. Coming up, spoiler at the rear which really sets the back end off nicely. Now you've also got front and rear parking sensors as well as the reversing camera. You've then got your chrome tip exhaust, one on either side of the vehicle. And there's a look at the rear end of the car. Now we've also got a power assisted tailgate. And as you can see the vehicle itself is free from any major marks, dents or scratches. Now there's a closer look at that last alloy wheel. And let's go on to the interior next. We have got a full lava black leather interior with the red perforations throughout and red seat belts as well as the red stitching which looks absolutely fantastic. Fold down armrest in the centre, ISO fix points within the seats, we've got the vents in the middle, storage nets behind the front seats, on the doors, integrated speakers, brush metal handle and electric window controls. We've got more of that leather with the red stitching there as well. Now going on to the, the front, we've got that same lava black leather interior, again with the red perforations, red stitching and red seat belts. The theme continues on to the front. On the doors you've got your integrated speakers, electrically adjustable memory functions for the front seats. As well as that, these seats are heated, it's worth adding in as well which can be controlled in the center there now you've got your unlock and lock button brush metal handle power folding electric wing mirrors with electric window controls and child lock for the rear you can also open the boots with the switch just there stepping inside first thing on your right you'll see is your auto light we'll start the vehicle up foot on the brakes turn the key like so and we are away. Now as you can see we've got the multifunctional steering wheel with different controls for whilst we're on the go. You've got the paddle shifters just behind for taking manual control of your gears should you wish. Now coming into the centre you've got your infotainment screen with features like satellite navigation. We've then got our FM radio, different forms of media connectivity like disc, memory card, music files, USB and Bluetooth. You've then got phone connectivity as well for making calls or listening to your music from your mobile device. If I put the vehicle into reverse you'll see you've got the reversing parking camera. There we go as well as a visual display of your sensors on the right hand side there. And then as well as that we've actually got the strip across there which will give you a visual display of your front and rear sensors as well. Now back into park Working our way down, we've then got our vents. We've got the stereo controls with the shortcuts for the infotainment screen on the left. You've then got your heated seat controls for both front passengers. You've got your off-road mode, different driving modes, which consist of sport, eco, and manual mode. You've then got hazard lights, start-stop technology, a button for your parking sensors. You've got your hill descent control, essentially, just there. And then you've also got the dual zone climate control, so you can control each side of the vehicle's temperature independently. Below here we've got more storage space with 12 volt connectivity and then some even more storage space below there as well. Two good size cup holders in the center as well as your control wheel. Again, for the infotainment screen, soft touch leather armrest which can be pushed out or backwards depending on how you want it. And again, more storage below there with a USB connection point as well. Now last but not least, we do of course have the sliding glass panoramic roof which to close we'll simply press the switch like so and as you can see and here that all works exactly as you would expect the blind will then retract and then we can simply close that blind just as easily with with that same switch and then you are free from the sun for example now the vehicle is ready to drive away today with free next day nationwide delivery competitive life finance fresh service, fresh MOT, and it's also HPI clear. That is all from me on today's video. Thank you for watching.